Doki artichokies, it is uh, time for Super Sunday with uh, good old me, uh, Claude, to start your week off with a nice little video of me just talking away, so here we go. Uh, I'll start you off with a little weekend recap. Uh, this weekend I um, went to a, uh, a little camp called Freshman Connect. It's like a... It's like a little way for uh, people in this like little Christian organization that I am uh, kind of hanging out with now to uh, like meet other people. It's called Freshman Connect, but it was like not just freshmen; there was a bunch of people. Um, so it was pretty fun, actually. I uh, I got baptized, um, so that was real cool. Uh, a lot of fun, good time. Really feel like I got a lot closer to God, so that was that was a real real good experience. Really glad I went. Um, and then the last night, um, I was going to sleep, and uh, and so like I'm going to sleep, my eyes are all closed, the lights off, and everything. All of a sudden, I hear like a I hear like a little, just like a little plop, just something landed on my bed, and I was like, what? What's going on? Because like. Nothing should be landing on my bed because nothing but a fan up there. So oh, that's uh, a that's first sketchy thing, or actually that was the only sketchy thing that kind of tipped me off. Some something was going down. So flicked on the light and the big old cockroach just on my pillow, right by where like I sleep and everything. It was like I don't know if this is like to scale for like the video and everything but like it was like two inches or something it was ugh, it was very unsettling so I had to get a little cup and toss them out but it definitely freaked me out because I was just like oh where did this guy come from because like he just appeared and so ugh, I don't think I have like cockroaches or anything because um I would have, um, I haven't seen, like, any other cockroaches or any bugs, for that matter, like, anywhere, and, like, this guy was definitely, definitely a full-grown little, little dude, so, hopefully they're not, like, all just in the ceiling or something, just kind of plotting their attack, and then some guy was just being all dumb and fell, and they were just like, oh my gosh, Tim. What are you doing? You're gonna ruin the surprise to him. And then I was just like, oh, one little cockroach, get him on out of here. And they're like, oh, okay, okay. The uh, the invasion is still on. Hopefully that's not <laughs> that's not the case. Um, but we'll see. Ugh, ugh, it was freaky, very freaky. But no more cockroaches since then. So. Um, so I think we're good. Um, all right, on to the little favorite thing. Got to pull it up on my computer because I don't have it memorized off by heart. Um, let's see what we got. Loving is what I got. I guess I should have pulled this up first, but it's all good because I have it right here. Oh, what? It was there and then it disappeared. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. Okay, favorite movie. The Departed. Very good movie. A lot of twisty twists. Actually, yeah. Yeah, a lot of twisty twists. Um, very inappropriate, though, so nobody other than Rachel Matthew should watch it until um, you guys are all grown. And uh, our doctors, so that means you, Juby. Um, my favorite TV show, obviously, Breaking Bad. Really, no contest there. Just great, great overall television show. Um, maybe Narcos. Narcos is kind of creeping in there because Narcos is pretty frick fracking cool. But again, very inappropriate, so watch out, kiddos. Not for not for the young the young minds. Uh favorite color blue, yeah, Chelsea, Cowboys, Mavs, 
bingo bongo boingo all three right there um favorite song um I don't really have a favorite song right now. I'm kind of jamming out to a, a song called The One by Kanye West. Or not actually by Kanye West. It's by like the good music kind of people. So there's a lot of people on there. But I like Kanye's verse the best. It's like Kanye, Big Sean, 2 Chains, Maybe someone else. This is a good one. It's on the album Good Summer. If anyone wants to. Or Cruel Summer. Cruel Summer. If anyone wants to check it out. Overall, a very good album. Um, my favorite restaurant. Oh, uh, that's um, that's kind of difficult. Um, I don't know, cause like, depends on what a, a restaurant could be. But I would say if somebody was just like, "Yo, let's go like anywhere right now," I'll buy. Maybe home slice, but I like burgers more than I like pizza. So, but home slice is the best kind of home slice is really good food. I like that. I like that stuff that they got going on there. Doing good things. Favorite book? Mm. Probably Acts. Just kidding. Um, been doing a lot of Bible stuff this weekend, so Bible jokes. Hoorah! <laughs> um, probably Harry Potter though. I don't really read anymore. So, because reading's for nerds. Nerd. Um, favorite magazine? I don't really have a favorite magazine. I don't really read magazines. So, nah. Um, favorite shoes? Probably be these bad boys. Highly recommend. Uh, New Balance. I think they're the 574s. Real comfy for uh, walking and whatever you weirdos do with your shoes. Um, that's about it. Um, oh, favorite store. Uh, favorite store. Um, Probably Bed Bath and Body Works because oh my gosh, they just smell so great. So that's gonna be it, cousins. Love all of you guys very much. Have a wonderful week and um I'm trying to think if I should give anybody a shout out for doing something especially nice. Ooh, shout out to Rachel for having the for having like a, a two hour conversation this week because I don't think really had a two-hour conversation with really anyone um via the phone in either a very long time or ever so high five on that one also um shout out whitney becca rachel and vic for all being my top four friends on snapchat and having streets with all of them you guys are lit over and out